What are head lice? The head louse, or Pediculus humanus capitus, is a parasitic insect that can be found on the head, eyebrows, and eyelashes of people. Head lice feed on human blood several times a day and live close to the human scalp. Head lice are not known to spread disease. Who is at risk for getting head lice? Head lice are found worldwide. In the United States, infestation with head lice is most common among preschool children attending childcare, elementary school children, and the household members of infested children. Although reliable data on how many people in the United States get head lice each year are not available, an estimated 6 million to 12 million infestations occur each year in the United States among children 3 to 11 years of age. In the United States, infestation with head lice is much less common among African Americans than among persons of other races, possibly because the claws of the head louse found most frequently in the United States are better adapted for grasping the shape and width of the hair shaft of other races. Head lice move by crawling they cannot hop or fly. Head lice are spread by direct contact with the hair of an infected person. Anyone who comes in head-to-head -head contact with someone who already has head lice is at greatest risk. Spread by contact with clothing, such as hats, scarves, coats, or other personal items, such as combs, brushes, or towels, used by an infested person is uncommon. Personal hygiene or cleanliness in the home or school has nothing to do with getting head lice. What do head lice look like? Head lice have three forms. The egg, also called a nit, the nymph, and the adult. Nits are lice eggs laid by the adult female head louse at the base of the hair shaft nearest the scalp. Nits are firmly attached to the hair shaft and are oval-shaped and very small, about the size of a knot in thread, and hard to see. Nits often appear yellow or white although live nits sometimes appear to be the same color as the hair of the infested person. Nits are often confused with dandruff, scabs, or hairspray droplets. Head lice nits usually take about 8 to 9 days to hatch. Eggs that are likely to hatch are usually located no more than 1 quarter inch from the base of the hair shaft. Nits located further than 1 quarter inch from the base of hair shaft may very well be already hatched, non-viable nits, or empty nits or casings. This is difficult to distinguish with the naked eye. How is head lice infestation diagnosed? The diagnosis of a head lice infestation is best made by finding a live nymph or adult louse on the scalp or hair of a person. Because nymphs and adult lice are very small, move quickly, and avoid light, they can be difficult to find. Use of a magnifying lens and a fine-toothed comb may be helpful to find live lice. If crawling lice are not seen, finding nits firmly attached within a one-quarter inch of base of the hair shaft strongly suggests but does not confirm that a person is infested and should be treated. Nits that are attached more than one quarter inch from the base of the hair shaft are almost always dead or already hatched. Nits are often confused with other things found in the hair such as dandruff, hairspray droplets, and dirt particles. If no live nymphs or adult lice are seen, and the only nits found are more than one quarter inch from the scalp, the infestation is probably old and no longer active and does not need to be treated. If you are not sure if a person has head lice, the diagnosis should be made by their healthcare provider, local health department, or other person trained to identify live head lice.